Yair Kulas, the head of the International Defense Cooperation Directorate within the Israeli ministry, revealed that his organization is actively promoting the sale of surplus weapons from the Israel Defense Forces. Kulas emphasized the significant financial potential of these sales, estimated to be in the hundreds of millions of shekels. He specifically mentioned the urgency faced by many European nations in replenishing their armaments after providing Ukraine with billions of dollars worth of military equipment, which aided in repelling Russia's invasion. He also confirmed that advanced negotiations are underway with two countries interested in purchasing the Merkava tanks, with one of them located in Europe. While the specific parties involved in the discussions with the Israeli Ministry of Defense have not been officially disclosed, there have been previous beliefs suggesting the interest of Colombia and Turkey in purchasing Israeli tanks. However, experts in the military field find it increasingly unlikely that Turkey would pursue the acquisition of a used Israeli tank. As previously reported by Eurasian Times, Turkey has been making significant progress in developing its domestically built Altay tank, which includes securing engines from South Korea. Moreover, Turkey is also exploring upgrades for its existing M60 tanks. These advancements and initiatives indicate that Turkey may prioritize its own tank development and enhancement projects, diminishing the likelihood of purchasing used Israeli tanks. On the other hand, the discussion among Ukrainian telegram channels and mass media, as well as military expert Andriy Kramarov, suggests that Poland and or Ukraine could potentially be the undisclosed European client interested in acquiring the Israeli tanks. Despite the debate, since the information has been leaked, there are speculations suggesting that these second-hand tanks might eventually find their way to Ukraine. These speculations gain traction due to Ukraine's appeals for additional tanks from NATO nations. In a recent media interaction, Andriy Melnik, the deputy foreign minister of Ukraine, stressed the urgent need for Western battle tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, and other armored vehicles for the Ukrainian army. Responding to this call, NATO allies, Denmark and the Netherlands have already taken action by funding 14 Leopard 2 battle tanks from Western partners, amounting to a significant sum in the hundreds of millions of euros. Previously, other NATO member countries have made commitments to provide tanks to Ukraine as well. The U.S. has pledged to send 31 Abrams tanks. Spain has committed to sending six Leopard 2 tanks. Germany will contribute 14 tanks. And the U.K. will provide 14 Challenger 2 tanks. For these reasons, reports of Israel selling its Merkava tanks to a European country have also sparked rumors that a third party may be involved in acquiring the tanks with the explicit intention of subsequently transferring them to Ukraine. The Merkava tanks have been the Israeli Defense Force's primary battle tanks since the 1980. In recent times, the Armored Corps has been replacing most of its Merkava Mark III tanks with the more advanced Mark IV models. The resulting design of the Merkava tank remains unparalleled among other main battle tanks. It stands out due to its unique configuration with the turret positioned towards the rear and the engine located at the front of the hull, offering improved protection against enemy fire by concealing the engine compartment. The turret, although large, possesses a low, thin, and triangular shape with a completely flat front surface. While the rearward placement of the turret is more commonly seen in self-propelled guns rather than main battle tanks, this arrangement is carefully considered to enhance the defense of the frontal combat compartment and prioritize the safety of the tank crew. Another distinctive characteristic is the presence of a rear two-hatch door, facilitating rapid crew evacuation and allowing infantry-style entry, which proved particularly advantageous during combat operations in Lebanon. Additionally, the interior of the Merkava tank features a remarkably spacious compartment, accommodating multiple infantrymen and their equipment. The design of the British Centurion tank significantly influenced the Merkava's drivetrain, suspension, and tracks, incorporating valuable elements from this established platform. Therefore, the Merkava is notable for having a great mobility on soft terrain and power-to-weight ratio due to its diesel engine.
The Merkava tank's drivetrain consists of six road wheels, a front drive sprocket, a rear idler wheel, and three return rollers. Starting in 1983, the Israeli Defense Forces began receiving upgraded MK2 models of the Merkava tank. These improved vehicles feature upgraded powertrain and armor components, among other modifications. Notably, the crew gained the capability to fire the 60mm mortar from inside the turret even when the tank is fully closed, thanks to a change in the new design. Additional enhancements were also made to MK2 subvariants, including the installation of new thermal optics to improve the tank's effectiveness in night combat scenarios. The MK2D version introduced composite armor with modular sections, allowing for easier replacement of damaged portions and further strengthening the tank's protective capabilities. In early 1990, the IDF introduced the MK3 model, which marked a significant overall improvement in capabilities. This model featured a larger 120mm main cannon, making it the first to be equipped with such firepower. Additionally, the MK3 received a more powerful engine, an upgraded drivetrain, and notable advancements in optics and fire control systems. As a result, the MK3 variant weighed approximately five tons more than the original model, but also boasted increased speed, with a top road speed of around 37 miles per hour. Similar to the previous variant, several improved sub-variants of the MK3 were also produced, incorporating upgraded sensors and other notable features. The latest iteration, the MK4, builds upon the upgrades introduced in the MK3 model. It showcases an enhanced 120mm gun and a redesigned hull that accommodates a more powerful engine. Moreover, the MK4 offers improved capabilities in data sharing, battle management, and sensor systems. In 2009, the Israeli Defense Forces introduced the Trophy Active Protection System on MK4 models. This system provides an additional layer of defense against anti-tank guided missiles and other infantry anti-armor weaponry. Various specialized Merkava variants have been developed and deployed, including the OFEC command vehicle and the Namer, which is a heavily armored personnel carrier without a turret. According to a report in the Times of Israel, the expected tanks to be included in the prospective sales are the Merkava Mark II, along with some Mark III tanks, with a potential export of both variants is 200 units and retrieved from the Israeli storage. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.